This is the IA Podcast, proud sponsor of the Fire Phallic Games. Today on the podcast, we talk about the Overwatch competitive mode updates that are coming soon. We talk about No Man's Sky. Like, is that game really worth it? We talk about all the bugs that are happening in that game. We have some Rocket League news. And also, a couple of announcements about a couple of new channels that came out on Discord. You know, that we've uh, put back in there. So, yeah, stick around. It should be a good one. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. Uh, I can't believe we're already at, uh, I almost said level 15. Episode 15 <laughs> for today. God, I mean, level 15 is probably game? accurate. It kind of is, yeah. like, but why is it like, I feel like every week I'm always just about to mess something up. And, you know, instead of just correcting myself and just going with it, I always kind of try to draw attention to myself about what I was going to mess up you, on. Because you crave attention, okay, Brian. Brian. We know totally, you would mess up. I am totally an attention to her. That's what it is. Her. Whore. Her. 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 So today Her. is the 15th episode of our lives for uh, Insomniacs Anonymous. I'm on my mama mama's. And it is August the 16th of 2016. So at least I got something right. We got the date right. So thank you so yes. much, you guys, for actually putting that into my brain. Directly into my brain. So what well, It's also we- on the patch, on the notes of the podcast, so... Yeah, but you know me. I never read, read that. Well, <laughs> no, no, you don't. Maybe you should. Including the time for when the podcast is supposed to start. Right. Uh, well, I mean, I was here for the right time, but, you know, we took a little bit of extra time. Well, we always do. We but do. last week. I could have sworn I was on time last week. Um, We never, like, we had, like, a time issue where we right, thought we where, were, like, like some of us starting at 11 or starting at 11.30 really and... <sighs> All the complications. And now we know what we're doing. But exactly. Increasingly well, we becoming really, later and later. Do we ever really know what we're doing, though? I mean, no, this probably is a podcast not. of very chillness, and I would say we're comedy. Always, exactly. We're always just like winging it. I almost said swinging it. Oh, we just, just, swing just it. can't talk today, can you? Apparently not. No. Yeah, I shouldn't have put all that meat in my mouth. Yeah, but, maybe you shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll know that for next time. In any case, what have you guys been up to for the past week? A mm, little bit of Rocket League, a little bit of fixing everything, a little bit of updating All the stuff. Updates. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's pretty cool. Uh, how about you, dude, Run? What have you been up to? Job hunts, nothing but job hunts. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty great. Uh, it's uh, accurate too. I can't find work in the thing I want to do, and I don't want to go back into retail. Yeah, I mean, retail Sorry. is always, you know, yeah, it it, it has its. Is there a computer stuff. store around you? Like, not nearby, but there is one in my town. So there is one somewhere. There is one somewhere, but like nowhere convenient enough for me to like. Um, I mean, I I used to commute like half an hour one way, so I'm a little. Well, I didn't, so. I. I don't know. I'm a little judgmental on the whole. Oh my god, it's a like, on the other side of town complaint. (laughs) (laughs) I was not that and unfortunate to do that so i'm looking for something nearby or something i can do at home driving is not that bad do you have public transit over there i don't even know that's like a legit question i haven't actually looked too far into that there probably is because that might be like do a two-pronged attack go for the thing you want that's kind of what i'm doing at the like go for the thing you want as a job and you know if something finally comes back and you can get it and of course jump on it but in the meantime find something a little less ideal in the nearby neighborhood yeah. that at least fits your skill set and isn't going to drive you crazy like I'm looking for laboratory work or some sort of you know analyst work maybe even computer work in the local area even though I'm trying to move across or even out of state well part of the problem with well working retail anyway is people have gotten shot in the local stores 
Just from oh, crazy people. Awesome. So yeah, it's lovely. Just like randomly, like with well, any yeah, kind of randomly. Like, to be just, fair, I didn't suggest retail. Okay. Well, that's like kind of where my skill set lies outside of like what I want to do. So okay. Well, you have computer knowledge. Not enough to really say. Oh, hey, I can repair this shit. Usually, well, I don't. Know. I'm thinking like a micro center, which I guess is both retail and computer knowledge. So I don't know if that makes it the worst or the best of both worlds. Oh, like a Best Buy. Uh, yeah, that would be an option too. Though, uh, I mean, if you, you went to be Best part Buy, of the Geek Squad. God no. <laughs> yeah. Those people. If you worked at Best Buy, you actually don't have to have computer knowledge, which is one of the reasons I call it Worst Buy. <laughs> because there you're a sales associate, first and foremost, and you're really just peddling your wares. Pretty much. I'm peddling you... my wares. Huh? Yeah. If you actually work for Geek Squad where you have to try and fix things, you probably hate your life because... You have to do the same thing of peddling your wares there, even when it's completely unnecessary. And most people are like, fuck this. I'm not forcing people to buy, you know, three years worth of antivirus when I can just delete it. <laughs> <laughs> the virus, that is. <laughs> I can delete, delete my computer. <laughs> exactly. Or well, like, uh, a friend of mine did Office Max, where they have their own, like, not really a geek squad, but it's the same idea. They have, like, a computer repair service, and that's just kind of, like, part of being a sales associate. Um, it's, like, the higher-level sales associate. You just, you know, if you're not stocking shelves or helping a customer, you can be the guy that's over in the corner with somebody's computer trying to remove the eight bajillion viruses because they typed in, you know, midget porn or something <laughs> and ended up on the dark net. The way on the dark net. Well, you know, I'm sure you'll figure it out some day, some day soon. Some day. Some day. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, apparently, English is just not working for me, and I swear I'm sober. Like honestly, I am. You're not I even Quebecois. Really, <laughs> exactly. But you know what? Um, what do we have to talk about this week as far as gaming news? What has been making the rounds lately? I mean, I know No Man's Sky just came out, what, last week, was it? Yep. Yeah, oh, last week. Yeah, and... Uh, and it had a rocky of, launch. It did have a rocky launch, and there's been a lot of buzz about that game for a long time. I know some of us here were, like, you know, totally stoked on it, too. Yeah. Just anything I'm a hater. About, anything about space exploration is always interesting. I just love space. <sighs> space. Space. Gotta go to space. Gotta see it all. Gotta see it all. Space. The final frontier. Exactly. These are the voyages of the USS Botfarts. <laughs> and now I just thought of Star Trek combining with Portal, and I don't even know how to process that thought. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Do you imagine GLaDOS running the Enterprise? Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, I don't have to. There was a game about that sort of thing. Wait, what? Yeah, I played an indie game where your ship becomes sentient and you have to kill off the crew. Already then. Oh yeah, I remember that game you played. Yeah. That was a good episode. It, it was Computer Open That Door for anyone wanting to like look that up and play it themselves. It's very I swear fun. the indie game titles these days. <laughs> well it makes sense. It, it does. It's just really and... funny. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really did seem like a good game. Um, but now, back to No Man's Sky. Now, it did have a rocky launch. And I was actually... I wanted to find out more about it, too. But not from just, like, you know, a reviewer site. So I was actually checking out a couple of Twitch streamers. And, like, you know, trying to see if I could get their opinion. And the general consensus, really, I mean, from what I gathered, was that... Uh, this game... I mean, it still needs, you know, it needs some work. And really, it's not like a full price game. It should have been maybe like forty dollars or something along those lines. But for it to be a full price game, I would it's agree just, with it's, that. It's a little too expensive mm. for what it offers, and it's really sad to hear that because I mean, it did look like something that could be amazingly big, deep, and amazing. I was so actually a, shots. 
Are we going to say, wait a minute, did you just kill us all? <laughs> <laughs> that's his, That's been his goal since the podcast started. I, I feel like I should walk away because I, I was actually go- thinking of having a little early morning drinking. <laughs> and I feel like I should go walk away and return with a beer or something. <laughs> you should return drunk. I should exactly. return drunk. At this point, you definitely should. I, I have a 22 ounce in my, my fridge, and I should just drink all of it in about 30 seconds. <laughs> yes. There was one day we were out at the bar, and I did get a stein that was like, I don't know, probably a 32 ounce stein, and I, I chugged it. That was an interesting night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So tell uh, me, good times. Um, what is your um? You you said you there was like some bugs or something happening. In yeah. The so, um, I don't know much about it personally, and I'm sure the internet has a lot of varying opinions of what's really going on. Um, but it the collective voice I keep hearing and complaint is that a lot of people especially people with multiple computers so they can test on multiple machines, are experiencing a problem where high-end gaming PCs are having trouble playing the game where the low-end laptop and whatnot is playing it fine. So, it's like, yeah, my, you know, six-year-old Asus or Lenovo, whatever, eight computer laptop-y thing can play No Man's Sky... Uh, just with, like, low frame rates and details or something, but, you know, at any setting, my gaming PC with eight cores and, you know, two graphics cards can't play it at all. That is messed up. So, yeah, they pushed a performance patch that did supposedly tried to fix that and a few other problems. Like, I guess you couldn't properly alt tab with the game like i don't know if there isn't a windowed setting in the graphics controller or if it just wasn't working or what but uh yeah apparently alt tapping would crash the game in some fashion um or you like couldn't alt tab back to it somehow i don't know um so yeah it's had a rough launch which further kind of makes it a little depressing because i mean I think, dude, correct me if I'm wrong, or Brian, like, did we talk much about No Man's Sky in the last podcast? Because I've talked about it to so many people out of the podcast, I don't remember what was live and what wasn't. Uh, We were just talking about, like, the multiplayer, I think, I remember talking about that. Okay. Or lack of multiplayer, rather. Right. Because, I mean, I think, I think it's a good space game... And especially if you like exploration or have a love for voxel graphics, because I, I actually don't diss the voxel graphics. I think it works really well in a lot of games. Um, but I, I do think it's just not meant to be compared to things like Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. Uh, and even like the older games of similar caliber, like the older Elite games or X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter and stuff like that. Because it seems like the detail and the passion that the dev team put into it is less focused on typical, you know, space flight mechanics and that sort of interaction between ships and flying around the universe and is more about your interaction with, you know, what you can explore on planets or artifacts in space and stuff like that and using the more procedural generation. And, like, the more I look at some of the artwork for it, I even get there's this feel of some sort of, like, ancient artifact civilization thing going on that you have like have the opportunity to explore and discover because like the the main logo for the game has this weird black obelisk thing with like an eye in it and like i have no idea what the fuck that's about and they nobody explains it and there's similar things that i've seen in screenshots from people so i'm like i i don't know what this is but that could be cool so I definitely think 
Brian, you're right with what you've been hearing in that maybe like a $40 game or something. It might have been a little bit easier it. to swallow, yeah, as a game. Yeah, exactly. So I, Yeah, and I think that's probably one of the big reasons, too, why this game is also getting so much hate. It is, you know, like the price of admission to it, you know, so it's like it's just not worth it. Right, for, for, and I mean, the, the other thing I don't understand, like we talked about the multiplayer, is they... Um, they, they like advertised to be on the same stage as games like Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. And yet, I really just don't feel like the game, as I said, is meant for that kind of stage. But that's what they were asking for, and that's what their price is asking for. And I, I don't know, I think it just kind of did a disservice to what the game is actually good at. Because I think it is actually good at things, you know, mm. assuming a computer runs it. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we'll have to kind of see, I guess, how this game is going to pan out in the long run. One of the things that also kind of, I don't know, kind of bugged me was that you weren't really able to set up, like, a, a base of operations either, from what I heard. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, think. it would have been nice. It would have been nice. I guess you could make any planet you discover your base of operations, but you, do you... If you die, is there really do you restart a building there? mechanic in that game? I no, don't even know. There isn't, as far as I know. As far just as kind I of saw. exploring, right? It is kind of a just, uh, yeah, it is kind of just exploring. I mean, I think there's some sort of combat mechanic because I know you can like try to at least dog with the ship you can dogfight. I don't know. I think there's supposed to be combat on the ground too, or at least maybe even in the atmosphere, flying around on planets. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And I found it also a little weird that apparently you can't really crash your plane, or your ship, I should say. Ah, lame! Yeah, so it's like, really? Like... If I want to crash into a planet, I want to crash into a planet. Don't force me to not. Exactly, yeah. I don't know, it's, everything about this game is just a little strange, you know? And it's like, mm. my expectations were... I mean, I didn't really have any real expectations about it either, and that's the thing, you know, and, like, my expectations were low, and even those weren't met. So, it was kind of like, for me, I was just like, eh, whatever. It was a bit of a flop. But again, as I said, you know, we'll have to see, we'll have to wait and uh, see what happens after a couple of patches and uh, maybe a price drop, hopefully. Yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> a price drop or a Steam sale. Yeah, so, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll see you in six months, uh, No Man's Sky. I'll definitely be waiting for the sale to drop, price to drop anyway, because by then I would hope most things that are bugged are fixed. For sure, for sure. So, uh, now, what else do we have to talk about? Overwatch, well, Overwatch, Overwatch, yep. and Overwatch. It's always with the Overwatch with us. I know. There's so much to talk about, though. There is so much to talk about. Actually, before we like get into drug. that, <laughs> before we yeah. get into that, there is a. I'll link it uh, to you guys later. But there was like this Overwatch cosplay where it's like, uh, basically, I mean, there's it was a lot like, of those. I'm sure. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure, yes. But it was like you know, female versions of all the male characters. Or oh, oh cool. gender swap. So yeah, and it was really cool. Actually, they did a really good job. So I'll I'll link that to you guys uh, soon. Okay, I think it was okay. on, I think it was on Kotaku or something, but in any case, yeah. What's going on in Overwatch, dude? Well, we got first up. We got Bastion is getting his own animated short in a couple days. Awesome! Looking forward to that. Oh yes. Uh, those that don't know or the uneducated, since we do have a shro here. Uh, <laughs> hey. Bastion is the. <laughs> Love you, Shro. <laughs> Bastion is the turret robot thing from Overwatch. He is an Omnic, part of the Omnic Crisis, if you follow the storyline, or whatever snippets we get of that. And he was lost in the forest, and that's pretty much his backstory. We're getting an animated short of him in on the 18th on gamescom.blizzard.com, I think. I'll, link, nice. I'll leave a link in the description, but yeah. 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 That might. It looks like the short's gonna be about like his time in the forest, or like time leading up to him getting out of the forest and finding birds and stuff that he loves. 
So there's that. Cool. And next up, we got some season two competitive changes coming up soon. Uh, they're adding, they're removing the sudden death mode in coin toss and making certain game modes a little uh, longer. I think it was uh, the attack maps, like the ones where it's like King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. They're adding like 30 seconds to the timer you can you have to attack the point nice yeah i heard also for the um you know for the 30 seconds where you spend choosing your class they're actually going to cut mm. down on that as well because oh really yeah which is nice because i mean for the most part you kind of know who you're going to be going as right and, and competitive that, yeah. yeah and competitive and then after that you know if you need to make any changes you can always make them after that yeah so, yeah so i think that's a good it's, it's a good idea to do that Mm -hmm. So they're going to be adding to the control points more time for King of the Hill. Yeah. That's good. All right. And gives, also... Gives oh, sorry. More first. Time to, no, I was just going to say it gives us a little bit more time to, you know, kind of... Um, if we're just like on a bad run or something, it gives us a little bit more time to come up with like a different team composition. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. What, what were you going to say? I have a really, really good push. Anyway, they are doing away with the numbered ranks... Uh, in competitive mode, they're adding seven tiers, and once you get to a certain tier, you do not drop out of that tier if you happen to just have a really bad time, at least for the first five tiers. The last two, you can drop out of, I guess. At least that's what I gathered from the video explaining it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which honestly, I think it's a great idea because one of the reasons why I kind of stopped playing competitive was once I reached 55 and then now I'm just like, well, I don't really want to, you know, what what happens if I go on like a bad streak of like losses? I'm just going to go back to like, you know, 54 or even you, you know, end up in 50. 47 like me. Yeah. And it's... you end up hating competitive mode because of it. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like there's all this anxiety of like, I don't want to play because I'm, you know, what hap What if? So yeah, I think it's a grab is, bag. It's exactly. Stupid. So so I think this is great. These are changes that needed to be made for sure. So oh, okay. really looking forward to the fact that you won't be able to drop from a certain tier. Me too. Really hope that should be on the playtest region very soon. But yeah, I look forward to that. I'm going to have to uninstall that again just to see how it works. Awesome. So apparently, yeah. So also for the golden gun skins. Oh yeah. That. Yeah. So the points that you get in order to get those is going to be increased by times ten. I think. Is, yeah, I think that's the. Yeah, which is kind of like, exactly. Yeah, and uh, you'll also be getting points if even if it's like a stalemate, which is nice. Maybe not so, as many points as if it was a win. Yeah. But you'll still be getting something at least. So you and, get more of the tokens but it costs a little more anyway it will You're still yeah. getting them more often right 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 and uh yeah they are increasing the price of the golden guns as well so yes that's that's yeah, okay it's a little strange but you know I whatever so, floats I, their I, goats I, I, exactly so i guess you know just so you don't collect them all in like the first in the second season yeah and uh what else are they doing any other changes here that um I think that's pretty much all of the things that we have, right? For for the changes they're doing to competitive. Pro there might be more, but I don't remember them. Right. Yeah. In any case, I mean, these are kind of those like, are the big ones. These anyway. are the big ones, exactly. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. Should be good. Mm -hmm. So, um, what have you been playing, dude? Uh, lots of things. Really, at. Uh for the past week, I haven't actually played much because I just recorded a bunch of backlog, and now the backlog has run out, and I got to start playing games again. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but the uh, games for a week, submit applications for a week. Pretty much, that, that's about the idea. That's the game of life. Been playing more default, Dan. In fact, I just finished the story mode. Cool. So now there's like a whole like dark world thing going on, and I, it, it's harder. I'm gonna be crying. 
really like a dark world is hard you would think it would be called yeah. like the sunny world because you know the good things are the things that kill you in this game true but uh yeah no and no, i also completely that. forgot that spikes were good at the very last boss and uh, oh no yeah i ended up fighting for a lot longer than i should have and i ended up being stupid oh man it's so ingrained in your mind, though. You have to unlearn everything with default, Dan. It's amazing. Unlearn it all. I think that's what the name implies. Yeah. <laughs> Fault reaction. Just... Yes. Well, in any case, I mean, yeah, it'll be great to see, you know, more videos coming out from you. So hopefully you keep mm. that going. You've been keeping this going for, uh, for a few years now, eh? About three, yeah. Good on you. Good on you. Mm. My face I don't know hurts. how you keep the, the, the breakneck speed that you put stuff out at. It's not hard. You s you make it sound like it's hard. It's not. Well, that's good. At I least mean, you, I guess. You've kind of found your flow. But yeah, you so found your yeah. niche then, at least. I found the flow. The funky, oh, funky the flow. flow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So is there any chance uh, you might be getting back into World of Warcraft once that expansion hits? If I can get a job, all right, or all if right. you want to pay the pay for the expansion in a month, <laughs> then I will gladly hop into World of Warcraft. Oh, uh, I think anyone would if if someone totally. else were to pay. Yeah, totally. for sure. Yeah, we'll have to see how that goes because um, I'm still kind of debating it, but maybe I might jump in there for a month. We'll see. All right. It's always fun just checking out the new expansion. You know what the game has to offer. Oh yeah, totally. It's insane that that game has been out for ten years, though. Over ten years. Jeez. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. It is. So I've actually gone back and played a bit of Starbound. Um, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been it's, playing uh, that too. That was yeah, fun. you know what? It's actually it's really fun. There's kind of like a story mode to it now, and it's um. Oh yeah. It's wow, like because I the last time I played it was probably back in 2014. Like, that's how long it's been. Really? Because, yeah, because uh, my old computer would run it really, really slow and choppy. So, which is was really weird. I don't know. Maybe it just wasn't optimized well for it yet. But in any case, I kind of gave up on it. And I was just like, eh, okay, whatever. And I got back to it over the weekend. And I'm like, oh, my God, this game is great. It's even better. So, I've yeah, it's been fun. I played, I think, like maybe two, three hours. That was good. I definitely will be playing some more soon. Uh, same here. Yeah. I just need to go back underground and get some like core fragments or something because I died a lot and lost oh, all no. of them. Oh! I need twenty, and I had like forty, and then I lost all of them to death. Oh man, that's. I am pissed. I would be pissed too. Oof. Well, do we have anything else that we want to talk about this week? Oh, I see. Shro uh, has a lot of Rocket League stuff. I, no, I'm just excited that I'm moving up in Rocket League and having a good time with it at the moment. Uh, Sweet. Pulling off a few things. I, I've been having some fun getting back into some artwork stuff, too. You know, furry and not furry. Um, in fact, somebody I tripped over that was originally just... Uh, Cute furry stuff. Um, I've now learned plays Second Life, Guild Wars 2, and World of Tanks, and has a bunch of fan art for all of it. And I'm like, oh my god! Oh my god! Um, they also are a char in Guild Wars 2, so I'm like, oh my god! I found a friend. So. Um, Jag has me on this, uh, comic that he linked a few nights ago that I've been busting through that's really interesting called Ava's Demon. Um. Never heard of it. I hadn't either, and normally I kind of am not the, like, the demons and angels trope just really doesn't jive with me. Mm -hmm. But this one is actually a more of a sci-fi aliens kind of trope that is just disguised as the whole demon construct and it's not really demons so it's 
I don't know, it's interesting. It's got my attention. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'll recommend that. The, um, the art site I'm actually looking at is actually a Tumblr website, which I am ashamed to admit. <laughs> Why? You guys know my feelings on Tumblr. I know your feelings on social media in general, but not Tumblr. So, okay, Tumblr, I mean, I guess it has its, its place as Tumblr, and that's fine. Um, I have a beef with Tumblr in that as a furry and just an art for as it is, uh, a lot of artists have a tendency to post, like, extra content or sometimes even all of their content on Tumblr, and Tumblr is not a good art website. It just isn't. And How so? It, it doesn't have good gallery browsing functions, it's clunky, it loads a bunch of extra nonsense with pictures that you see it doesn't uh like the other night it doesn't properly handle images consistently like you can go on someone's page and go perusing through things and if an image has been shrunken down to fit into whatever sizing component they have made for their particular tumblr page then you can click on it and sometimes it'll just you know pop out the image and give it to you full screen that you can look at and that's pretty cool what and then sometimes it tries to load a completely different page and how this is determined seems to be controlled by rngbus because i have yet to find any consistent ratio even on pages by the same people and i it's it's just not i mean yes you can use it for art clearly it's obviously been done but i i just don't find it something that is should be a primary way to share art and a lot of people see it that way and i don't know it it irks me and i can't do anything about it so whatever all the irks but yeah Cool, cool. I mean, some people can... I mean, it, it, part of it is that it's a user-defined space. Kind of like, you know, the web spots and those... Any of those websites where you can just kind of make your own... Like a blog spot, that's what I'm trying to think of. Hmm. Where you can just kind of design your own template kind of idea. Tumblr does the same thing. And with the right design and templates it definitely makes it more possible to be an art gallery idea but a lot of people don't utilize that well and even the best options that i've seen still kind of lack some of the normal functions of an actual gallery that you'd expect so yeah that's that's my grief with tumblr all right all right all right then. What else? Did, no, we did have some. Oh, Discord. Not safe for work channel is back. Post all your naughty things and <laughs> strange oh, yeah. material that is rated over seventeen plus. I love how you say it in this too. like really weird voice too. That was kind of funny. I don't even know. To add context, that voice I just did. To add context, we're referring to the Not Safe Work channel in our IA Discord. Should we leave a link for that? Um, so people for can like check it out. Yeah. Oh. I don't know, it's up to Shro. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could. We've actually had a few <laughs> influx of a few people lately. Um, someone managed to randomly Google search us, um, looking oh, for something yeah. else. So, and he's actually pretty fucking cool. So, he is. Oh, hell I'm a pretty yeah. fucking cool guy. person. This is your shout out. I, I got um, to meet him holic, was it love like, you? Uh, yesterday or awesome the day before person. or something, and uh, yeah, he was really cool. It's funny, because I actually mentioned you a few times to him, Brian, because he's a major Overwatch player, and I'm like, yeah, there's this guy that, you know, he plays Overwatch all the time, I'm sure he'd love to play with you, um, but, you know, he never signs into Steam or Discord, <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't yeah. know when he was ever going to show up. <laughs> 
And there's this other guy who does sign on to Discord a lot, who does play Overwatch as well. You can check him out. I, I mean, you guys basically met a few hours later, so I didn't really need to talk you up any. Yeah, true. There you go. <laughs> so, so don't try to play the pity card on me, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Things okay. Are Doubtfire. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, no, definitely. It's uh, yeah, it's been a good week for us. It's definitely oh, and we week. discovered Edward Snowden is not dead. Did Damn. We talk about that last time, or maybe no, that I think that was actually after a podcast. Don't even know. So I don't know. Why did people think he was dead, or like was so it he has because of his wonderful nature. It's pretty strongly speculated that he has a dead man switch, i.e. Uh, something set up that if he doesn't routinely check in, usually like once a day or something, um, because, you know, somebody kidnapped him or murdered him or whatever, um, that something goes off, um, in the cyber security sense, it's usually some sort of, like, you know, an email is sent to somebody saying, I have been dead, or... You know, it's, like, important information that people didn't want to get out. So, in Edward Snowden's <laughs> case, he randomly tweeted a 64-bit hash um, that was had no explanation to it that some people were speculating was a key to some of the leaked information he has spread around. Because despite what has been leaked by him, he still has a lot more to go that even he has said is too dangerous to leak. Um, uh -huh. Not for just his own sa safe, but, you know, people like Edward Snowden, as far as I'm concerned, uh, know that they're jeopardizing a lot of things when they're doing whistleblowing of this magnitude and tend to not want, they're trying to call attention to something, not just, you know, bring a country to its knees or organization or whatever. And so they're trying not to just let everything go so he apparently the idea was that apparently he had been killed and so one of the insurance policies he had for not being killed was that if he was and this dead man switch went off then it would reveal all of these terrible things that even he didn't want to reveal Ew. and then it turned out that like a few days later like days ago or something he like no I'm, I'm not dead and then for some reason that tweet was just kind of deleted in silence so nobody really knows what happened hmm. kind of weird but yeah hmm. I don't know that came up at some point in a conversation on discord I think and I thought it was mentioned in the podcast but now I'm not sure so if it wasn't now you know sounds good the Mario no the more you know. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Have we exhausted our topics for this week? It seems right, so. so. All right. Other that than I have a new mouse and it's shiny. Nice. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, I guess um, I guess we might as well just call it then for this week. Um, we'll try All to right. Up. We'll, we've always got some more stuff to talk about, you know, as the week progresses. So we will keep you guys updated. Make sure you check us out on all the links below or somewhere. I'm, I'm sure Dude Run is on top of that. Oh, hell yeah. Or he's below that. I'm oh, all over that shit. All over I'm a Pokemon it. trainer level 14. I just remembered. Nice. nice. I think I'm 16. So, ha! Anyway. <laughs> I've got several level... Tens and twenties on oh, and fire I, I, red. I caught a Blastoise uh, Sunday morning. Nice. So that happened. Yeah. I stopped so. playing Pokemon Go for real Pokemon. <laughs> oh so there's that. Awesome. Well, I guess you can do that. He's yeah. Ahead of the game already. I've been ahead of the game, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was really sad. I finally, I finally got a Pokemon into a gym last night. And they came back to me beaten and bruised two hours later. <laughs> yeah, that's like, no, right. my poor little pyro fox. <laughs> uh, well, 
in any case, uh, I guess that's it for us for today. We will see you again next week. So on behalf of myself, Brian, uh, Dude Run, and Shro, we are the IA crew, and we will see you next week. If you say yourself and Brian, does that mean you have a split personality? It really could. You never know. I can never make up my mind between me and myself. So Is this why you can't speak English sometimes? Sometimes. split personality why. is intervening. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Just imagine you going on a tangent with yourself. <laughs> it's like, kill him! No, kill him! Shut up! You shut, shut up! You should be killing him instead! God! Alt now! I'm, no! I'm just envisioning him being like Gollum with the precious, only instead he's petting the Overwatch box. <laughs> On the Overwatch. <laughs> End the round now, you've got crates. No, I want to keep going. No, open the crates! No, fuck you! Open the goddamn crates. <laughs> precious good crates times. good times all right guys until then we will see push you. the button bye 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 are we turning this into a thing <laughs> 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 <laughs>